As other videos in this series illustrate, the pivot table fields pane is crucial for manipulating pivot tables. To this point, this pane has been used only for one purpose, to drag fields to various areas of the pivot table. However, there is more functionality built into this pane, as this video illustrates. I personally don't use this extra functionality very often, and you might not either, but you ought to be aware that it is available. First, there is a drop-down at the top that allows you to move the fields pane, that is, undock it, or resize it, or close it. If you do undock it and then want to move it back to its original docked position, drag it back past the right edge of the Excel window until it snaps into place. If you close the pane, note that it won't reappear by selecting a cell inside the pivot table. But you can get it back by clicking the field list button on the analyze ribbon. Second, there is another drop down just below the top one. I will undock the fields pane so that you can see it. This provides five options for the arrangement of the parts of the fields pane, and you can experiment to find the one you prefer. My guess is that you will almost always prefer the default arrangement, the top one. This list also contains a few other options, such as the option to list the tables in alphabetical order. I won't discuss these other options here. Third, each field in the top section of the pane has a drop-down arrow when you hover the mouse over it. This leads to the same sort and filter options available elsewhere, but at least in this case you are sure of the field you are sorting or filtering on. By the way, if you filter on a field that isn't currently part of the pivot table, the pivot table won't change. However, if you then drag this field to the pivot table, the filter will be in place. Here's an example where I will filter on the purchase time field and then drag it to the pivot table. You can see the effect of the filter. Fourth, there is a drop-down arrow for each field in each area of the bottom section of the pane. I will change the field list arrangement so that you can see the options. These options are all available elsewhere, either by dragging fields, right-clicking in the pivot table, or from ribbon items. So I'm not sure why you would use these drop-down options, but they are available. Fifth, a new search box was introduced in Excel 2016. This lets you search for any field. This is especially useful if your pivot table is based on several tables, each of which has quite a few fields. To clear a search, just click the X in the search box. Finally, there are two other items that are discussed in other videos. The Defer Layout Update option at the bottom is discussed in the video on Efficiency Tips. The More Tables item in the Fields list is discussed in the video on basing a pivot table on a data model.